Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my heart breaking. Bless the soul that's aching. Hoping I survive. The feeling lingers on every day of every month. Wishing I just could forget about you. Hey guys, um, good morning. Today is the competition day, and I just got up. Face has been all fat, my eyes are swollen. I've been on my laptop since yesterday trying to work on a couple of videos that I'm supposed to schedule for um, next week. I think I have three videos I worked on yesterday so i already posted them so i can't wait for those views to drop the videos are really interesting so you guys should go watch them if you yet subscribe to my channel please go now and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any you know video i post so i am just going to get um up from my bed now and Sure. I didn't pack last night because I was really tired and I got back from work and uh, I think by I can't remember when I came back when I finished from work but I actually finished um, really early before I started working on the videos but so I'm just going to pack now so that um, I won't be late for the event. So let me just go pack quickly and shower. I'm not going to have breakfast until you know I leave and, and I probably buy um, some snack on my way to you know a server. So I'm going to the shower now. So I'll see you guys shortly. Hi everyone, so um, we're on our way. So I don't know if you guys can see me clearly, it's still dark out here, but who cares? We just have to you know, get going and achieve something for the day. So stay tuned while I take you guys through the Hi guys, so we just got to Asaba now and I'm so excited. I didn't know we we're going to come to Asaba this early. So from my time here is 8.25 and that's really fast. The cab guy did an amazing job and the road was really smooth because today is Sunday. So we're headed to the hotel now to so stay connected. We're on a journey, looking back on the things oh my goodness guys the light from here is really beautiful and i love how illuminated it is i wish my room is as illuminated as this space oh my god my content is good so um i am in the room already so i i was having issues trying to pick up outfits last night i wish i did a video I actually brought out crazy 10 outfits. I don't even know the one to wear today. So the idea for me today is to be casual but still look cool and expensive because that, that's like the, the, the major thing for me. I like to look expensive, you know. I like to look really you know, fly. So, But I know what I'm going to wear today is going to stand out. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to call the 
the laundry so they can come you know pick it up for ironing because whenever i'm traveling i don't like to iron my clothes because i'm still going to fold them back into my bag so it's definitely going to rumple so because i traveled with a backpack not a a box so i didn't i didn't travel with a suitcase i, I came with a backpack so i like to fold my clothes so that i'll have space for other stuff like my perfume, my deodorant, my body lotion, my shoes. I really don't like to pack too many bags. So I think that's one of the reasons why I like to, you know, fold my things like that so that everything can fit into one bag. So I just came in with, uh, let me show you guys the bag I came with. <clears throat> so I just came with this bag and my laptop bag so these are just the, the, the things i came with i'm not going to lie to you guys i'm really excited because um, when they called me for the event that i was going to be or i'm going to be rather one of the judges for the beauty shaker i was like oh my god i was i'm recognized so i, I need to do something like they're picking me to do something rather for them so i actually felt excited i was excited when i got the call so i just have to do what i need to do yeah it's actually my first time judging in a, in a hair competition i've, I've done um, i've been a judge before in pageantries when i was still in school so it wasn't really because <laughs> <laughs> I could remember the last one I did and I told myself I was never going to be a judge again. So they already told me that this is the winner, this is their winner, that this is the person they they want me to, you know, announce as the winner. So because I've gone through a lot when it comes to pageantries, uh like in my my school, my department, I was uh, Mr. Accounting myself. Then for my school, I did Mr. Moayu, and guys, the, the funniest part was I was robbed and it was really, it was clear, it was open. People saw it and they couldn't do anything and I felt so bad. That time, this, this actually killed my self-confidence at some point because there are some other pigeons that I registered for. So I was just using the you know, school one to like prep myself for the other one. Just so you know, guys, I did Mr. Tourism Nigeria 20, I think it was 2014, and I was given a special category as Mr. Amiti. So <laughs> that that period it wasn't it wasn't funny at all. Like it was a big challenge for me. I, I learned a lot of things, and I'm so happy I was um, privileged to to know to like uh, you know compete in that. Uh, um, competition rather so back to the other competition when I, I i judged before so i was telling myself i was asking myself rather why are they giving it to this other person why not this this person who is actually doing well in the competition like her dress her performance everything was on point i'm going to give it to the winner and anything that wants to happen should happen it was time to announce the winner i started to call the girl's name and everybody was like woo, 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 woo. so who were actually waiting for me outside so they could you know fight me but the guy who organized who who is the owner of the brand i'm not going to call the name of the brand because i wouldn't want anybody to come for me we had to you know get some security and you know take me out of the then it was it was really epic that day. So the guy felt so disappointed. So back to today's event, I already told myself that I'm not going to, you know, like read anything, I'm not going to listen to anyone. So anything I want to help me should happen. But the fact that you're calling me to be a judge means I'm going to judge, you know, fairly and I'm not going to like give it to who is not the winner. So <laughs> to everyone who is competing today, I'm actually wishing you success, good luck. So, let the best win, actually. That's all I have to say. If you let me, let me hear you say my name, my name. If you let me, let me hear you, babe. Cause I wonder if you feel the same, same. Or just tell me if you feel the same. So 
I am done setting up my little beauty product and it just came to get my clothes for ironing so so my regular shenanigans <laughs> guys i'm done and i'm ready for the event this is my outfit for today this t-shirt i got from zara this pants from omir clothes Catch you all up at the event. Hi guys, good morning. So it's a new day. Yesterday was really fun, and the tension was something else. Though the program, the the competition rather went well, and the winner was announced, and we all danced and uh, met some of my colleagues. Um, it was really fun. So today I'm supposed to go back to Enugu because I have a wedding for tomorrow and I need to start a bride's for tomorrow and now I am hearing there's no movement. I'm just trying to make calls to find out if, because I'm trying to call my cab guy now whose number is maybe 
connect him to, to see if he can come back to survive from any day to be like Kendrick. I really don't want to disappoint someone on a big day because that's not what my brand is known for. So we never do that and we never do that in Jesus' name. I'm gonna go shower now. Probably order you know breakfast, then go shower and get myself together. I'm even supposed to like work on something just in case I end up not living today. So I'm, I'm going to work on a video. So that's just it. If I'm going to leave today, I'll still keep you guys updated. If I'm not leaving today, I'll still let you guys know. But just <laughs> oh god, 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 this is this is really, really funny and annoying, but I don't even know why I'm laughing. So Go be. <laughs> Until now, my food is not good, so I'm just trying to see if I can you know, play with um, an editing I started yesterday. Then, okay, guys, I, I was going to show you guys something. They gave me a throw pillow yesterday from the competition. Let me just show you guys. So, this is is a throw pillow and has my face come on look at this cute boy so yeah he has my he said um thank you Louis Pochico the signature so guys tell me where you want me to put this throw pillow in my room or should I even take it to the salon it will be nice in the salon, it has to be in my room. So just tell me where you go. So guys, my breakfast is not forthcoming and I just have to leave. So <laughs> I call them to pack it in a take-home truck. So I can just put it in the car. So I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Because I, I normally oh I said it my speaker. I know how to forget things. So See you guys. If you love me, let me hear you say my name, my name. So we're actually trying to make a bold step right now because I really don't know if the road is open. We'll just have to try our best and see if we can make it through to any Across the Niger Bridge, it's quite scanty out here, Sham. So sorry I wasn't able to like you know give you guys updates on yesterday's activity because I was really tired and I got home really stressed so my face wasn't a camera kind of face because I was really exhausted so my mom visited 
she's in Enbu, so her birthday is um, the 1st of October, so we have a birthday shoot to plan. I'm ready to leave for the gym now, so I'll see you guys shortly. Dancing closely together and staying forever young. What about you and I then? Can we too find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history. Find out what we can be together. Uh, take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted, but feels like we're learning to be better without what's been holding us back now. Let's move closer to a new history, find out what we can be together. Take my hand and we will conquer the world. This is our final chance. So guys, that would be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, if you're yet to subscribe to my channel, don't forget to do that before you leave. And also give this video a very big thumbs up. Like my other videos, watch them. Share them with your friends because you know, sharing is scary. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you all will be notified whenever I post a video. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.